Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a morph cut glitch transition effect. So you can see I've got a couple clips on my timeline, and there's a cut in between each one of the two clips. And if I head over to the effects panel on the right hand side, this effect is actually a built in transition in Premiere. So if I go to video transitions and I go to dissolve, I can find morph cut. Now, technically, this transition is meant to seamlessly blend talking head shots or still frame shots where there's cuts in between mess ups or when people say um. Using it in this way, in a glitch effect kind of way, like you might see in music videos, is kind of like an abstract and I guess technically improper use of the tool, but it does come out with a cool glitchy effect. So if you just click and you drag the effect in between two clips, you should see that it'll start saying analyzing in background. Now be patient because this actually might take a minute, maybe two minutes, depending on how slow your computer is. However, it's not too long and there's a few things that you can do while you're waiting. Like if you click on it, you can adjust the alignment of the transition to start at the cut or end at the cut or just be center in between the two clips. I generally just like to keep it center. So you can see this first transition finished analyzing already. It wasn't too long at all. And what this does when it tries to morph two clips that aren't seamless is you can see it creates a bit of a glitch because that's not really what the transition was meant to do. But as a result, it does create a cool morphing glitch effect that I'm sure you can find a use for. So this tutorial is basically just that. Uh, it's more of just kind of shedding light on this tool than it really was a complicated tutorial because anyone can really do this. And that's one thing that I like to make a point of right now is oftentimes when you're looking at an effect and you're like, wow, how did they do that? Or what is that? What I've learned in my years of recreating these different effects and figuring out how to do stuff in these programs is 75% of the time, it's a preset or a template or a built-in feature. And I don't say that to put other people down. I say that to, to inspire you to understand that you can do it too. So thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, then definitely leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for other Premiere Pro tutorials. Follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram and Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.